What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. Today's indie is a little special and it's going to require a little bit of open-mindedness so I hope you guys bear with me. Does God exist? Yeah, that's right. If I'm going to make an indie, I'm going to go deep. And this is a question that a lot of people have been asking. I guess it's one of those human condition type of questions. Like many people on our beautiful planet, I believe in God or a higher power or force. There seems to be an ever-growing debate in the modern world as to whether God is in fact real. Our history in the United States as well as the history of civilization has a strong connection to faith-based religions and the belief in God. Chances are, if you were raised in a home where faith in a higher power was a standard, you in some way, shape, or form may believe in God. In more recent times, there seems to be an ever-growing demographic of people who've lost their belief, lost their faith in God, or have never even believed God existed to begin with. So I ask you, my awesome subscribers, I ask you today, is God real? So I grew up in the 80s, and uh, I was influenced by faith-based religions like a lot of people. Uh, my mom and dad divorced. Strangely, after they divorced, they decided that they would pursue completely different religions. So my dad went toward the religion of Islam. Well, my mom stayed a Christian, and so there was never a doubt in my upbringing as to whether or not God existed, even though seeing religion from two different standpoints was quite confusing to a child. So in a nutshell, I believe in God. Now don't get me wrong, I have no opinion of people who have no faith in God, but I, like always, want to know where the world stands when it comes to religion and spirituality. Is it crazy to have faith in God? Is it crazy to not believe in God? Is there any evidence of spiritual existence? Is this human life really it? Are we meant to just live, procreate, work and die? What happens to us after we leave here? These are questions I would think many people have asked themselves. I'm just a man, 35 years old, I haven't experienced enough to call myself an authority on much in life, but my faith drives me to be quite honest. So let's examine some reasons that people say that God doesn't exist. Number one. Too many religions exist, and they differ in so many different ways, and they always seem to describe different gods. Number two, that if God existed, then bad things wouldn't happen to good people. Innocent people, children, death during childbirth, all this crazy stuff that happens to innocent people. Number three, people say, there isn't a guy floating around in the clouds watching over us. Are you insane? <laughs> That's what people will say to you, especially a lot of atheists. Now, uh, here's some reasons that God may exist. The creation of the universe cannot be an amazing accident the way it is. Look at the earth and all the perfect conditions that have to be balanced to create comfortable life. Like the distance away from the sun, the oceans, the seasons. All this stuff has to be perfect to sustain life. Number two, evolution is only a theory. And while it may sound cool... Where are those who are in the middle stages of evolution? Shouldn't there be some people who are further ahead in evolution and some who are behind in evolution instead of everything being at the same evolutionary phases? Number three, the ever-present limitations of science. Like what came first, the chicken or the egg? The only reasonable answer seems to come from a place that science can't answer. So with all that in mind, I'll tell you guys simply why I know God exists. Some would just say faith. Some would just say because they talk with God. Some would say because he reveals himself in their lives daily. And while all that sounds great, I know God exists because I know the devil does. I grew up in the 80s, and like many of you who know me from my Minecraft True Stories segment of the channel, I've seen some scary shit. To put it simply, I, along with my brother and mother, was tormented daily by unseen supernatural forces growing up in Ohio. These entities were malevolent in nature, and they seemed to only take pleasure in striking fear into unsuspecting children who were, for all intents and purposes, innocent. These entities lurked in the darkness and would wake me or my brother up just to frighten us, and those experiences drove my faith as I got older. The fact that these entities exist and that multiple people in my family saw them lets me know that what I consider demons do exist, and if those are real, I'm led to believe that the devil is also. And well, if you add up the association, then you come to the conclusion that God does as well. After all, this is supposed to be a place where Lucifer and his followers were sent as a punishment for rebelling against God, right? I will say this. 
If you've never experienced anything supernatural, then this might be hard to swallow. But just because you've never experienced it, doesn't mean that others have not. Untold millions have experienced supernatural situations and while some have not, dismissing those that have as crazy or misconstruing their own experience is just wrong. After all, they had the experience, not you. So keep that in mind. What's out there? Is there a grand creator sitting back and watching his grand design play out? Is there only blackness after we die in the flesh? Is it like turning off a light switch? Are we supposed to maintain our faith base here on Earth or are we supposed to just let evolution move us more on a science-based track? These are all great questions and I look forward to hearing your answers. Please be sure to leave a comment below, share this video on your favorite social media sites and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm the Beastly Gamer and I'll see you guys next time. Let it go.